God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Hallelujah. So go ahead. Let me do two disclaimers. Number one, the makeup. Y'all know I don't wear makeup no more. I'm going somewhere. I have to do what God said. I'm going to tell you in about a minute. Y'all going to all understand the matter. But the first thing I want to, so again, I'm going to say, y'all know I don't wear makeup, right? This is for this video. This is only for this video. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I, I want it to be so penetrating. Come on, somebody. And to be honest with you, I wasn't going to do it. God just told me to go do it. So he wanted to be that penetrating because it's time. It's time. It's time. We haven't had a voice to talk to our black people in a long time. So, so this, again, is for entertainment purposes. Okay? All right. Praise God. So let me go ahead and tell you something else. Let me make a disclaimer. I am not against any race. I love everybody. I'm going here. My auntie, if anybody know me um, out of Abbeville, Louisiana, my aunt Christine, her father, Caucasian. All right. My grandmother, her father was Caucasian. My cousin, Bruce Broussard, was fully Caucasian. And he was really a cousin, by the way. He died, bless his soul. And so um, I got to I gotta work this thing out. I got to work this thing out. So I'm telling you, the revelation that God has been given, again, Y'all know I don't wear makeup anymore. Y'all going to see what I'm going to do in a minute. So God told me, so that's my disclaimer. So if any Caucasian person or any other nationality look at this, I'm not a racist. That's not of God. That spirit is not of God. Anybody that is, that's not God. They lying. Point blank in the story. But I have to be obedient to the father. And the father told me to encourage our culture, just like y'all encourages y'all. Praise God. All right. So let me start this. Who taught you to hate yourself, black people? Thus said the Lord. That's right. Who taught you to hate yourself? You are a royal chosen generation, especially women. Men, God says, where did you learn not to be a man at? Oh, I'm going to have to walk this thing out. I'm, I'm going to have to walk this thing out. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm in Revelation 1 and 14. Through 16, it says his head and his hairs were, were white, were white like wool and as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire and his feet like unto fine brass. And they burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had right in his seven in his hand, seven stars. But the thing is, his hair was like wool. His hair was like wool. I got to walk this thing out. It's going to be a hard video. Again, the, the makeup, y'all know I don't wear makeup, is for purposes, entertainment purposes. I don't think I'm entertaining nobody, but whatever. So God was saying, Deanna, he said, my people, oh God, I got to work this thing out. My chosen people, you have allowed them to take your heritage. Black men, that's a chemical in your system. You're not gay. That's a chemical. The second part is that's a lust spirit. You need deliverance. You need deliverance and healing. Point blank in the story. Nobody trying to cut you down. And nobody against anybody. I'm against the spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Black women, God says, you wear tons of makeup. You put in hair. He said, who taught you not to love yourself? Who taught you? To hate yourself. That you have to put on all that stuff that you don't love who God made you. Genesis. Genesis 127. He says, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female. Are you telling me, my brother, my sister, that you didn't like the way God made you? Huh? Is that what you're telling me? That you want to put on, you want to get booty implants, and you want to put on all this makeup and all this stuff to be who? Who are who? Who are you? Who are you trying to be? God says, who 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 are you becoming? God says, He said, who taught you not to love you? That your skin was too dark. Huh? Who, who, who told you not to love you? Huh? That you had to put on everything to enhance your beauty. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to walk this thing out.
that you didn't you want to put in perms and everything in your hair because you don't like that it's it's woolly and and it's a little it's a little wavy and you, you may not be able to throw your hand into it all the time you know but who taught you not to love you said the lord hmm? hallelujah you're putting on stuff that's them people calling my phone like that. Y'all know that, right? They don't they don't like this truth. I'm not bashing another race. I'm trying to encourage my race. Now you got your daughters putting in hair in their hair and it's tearing it out. Because that's what happened to me. This is natural, and I'm not trying to flaunt. Biotin helps you grow your hair. Keeping it moist helps you grow your hair. I was deceived too. I was wearing wigs and everything, and I was wearing so much makeup. I'm gonna tell you what um changed me. I don't mind saying it. When me and Nate, y'all know Nate from Abbeville, Louisiana, got into it, and he called me Lady Gaga. I got mad, and God said, "You're not lying." He said, "You got too much makeup." Oh, y'all ain't ready for me today. Who taught you to hate your skin color? Yeah, we a little dark. That you get bleaching your skin, the stars, everybody else. Who taught you? Who we'll taught you, God says. God says, return to him with a whole heart and he will restore that you see yourself the way he sees you, a beautiful person. Let me tell y'all something. It's not to bash people. And I don't want to hear that. Well, you know, I wear makeup. I wear makeup because I got blemishes or, or I wear this because I... I'm telling you the truth. I don't know why God got me going here because I don't do nothing less accepted by God. When I was in Atlanta and I was going to DeVry, I was an engineering student. I was riding on top of a car, which was very foolish. And I never forget, I fell because the girl started going fast, but she wanted me to fall. I almost died that day, by the way. And I never forget, through here, on this side, right here to here, I had a scar. And they had to take glass all out of here. And I looked at it. I, I thought my face would never recover. I cried. God said, Deanna, use cocoa butter and pray. You can't even tell. I had a scar. I mean, if you look closely, if you if you ever close up on me, you'll probably see a little blemish right here. But that scar is from here to here. What I'm saying, God can heal anything that you're ashamed of. Learn to love yourself. How is it that people with no arms, no legs can learn how to operate in life? All God wants you to do is to love you the way he created you. You understand what I'm saying? Them booty shots, now people are dying. You're putting, you're tearing up your real hair to put in hair, which is spirits, because all that they pray over that stuff. You can do the research, they pray over all that stuff. They got y'all black women, y'all putting all that hair in, and, and, and y'all swear to God is y'all hair, which I will begin name Jesus by saying the words were. Y'all be, y'all, y'all be. Love you. Love you, said the Lord. Men, come back home. You're a man. You're not a woman. God didn't make no mistake when he made you. That's a lust spirit. That's a lust spirit. That's a lust spirit. And when somebody talk like this, the first thing you say, oh, they homophobic. I love everybody. I love everybody because I told you. I got one in my family. That's very close to me. And I love her. I don't agree with her lifestyle. I don't agree with what she's done. But I love her. But the truth is the truth is the truth. Point blank in the story. How do I change, Apostle? You get in this world and you will surrender and stop doing what you're doing. But it feels so good. Oh, I'm about to, I'm about to walk this thing out. See, so it's just like um a computer. Your body's just like a computer. Whatever you download, then that's what's on your hard drive. That's what's in your heart. If you want to change it, you gotta sometimes you gotta throw away the computer. <laughs> you can't throw away your life, right? So sometimes you gotta change the hard drive. God change my heart. Change what I think. Change what I want. Why do you think they call it detox? Oh, the process is gonna be painful. When you're coming out of anything that you once was used to do. But you can do all things through Christ with strength. It's Philippians 4.13. Hallelujah. I guess the question is, do you want to be healed, said the Lord? Hmm? 
how you like playing that game? Oh, I'm a real with you. It really is. It feel good. Oh, I didn't know he was gonna make me do this. Oh, he set me up on this one. I've taught this before and he want me to say it again. You don't want to know why men love to be with men. Women have a birthing canal. So when we, our bodies are made to it get big, especially, you know, I, I, I got to talk it. I can't be playing games. So you know how they say where well, the bottom is out or whatever. No, it's a birthing canal and it opens up. And that's why some women are compacted and some are, they call it loose. A man doesn't have a birthing canal. So what happens is it's, it's compacted like a virgin. Mm, Y'all starting to understand. So it's like a euphoric. It's called a euphoric spirit. So it's just like every time they have sex, it's like a virgin. Unless if they have sex like a lot, then it'll get loose like a birthing canal. Did y'all understand what I just said? That's why they that's why they get caught up. God says it's a euphoric. You know what euphoric it means? Hold on. Let me work this thing out. Ain't no I just started it now. I gotta finish it. I ain't know it's gonna make me go here, but I gotta do what he said. Let me let me give you the de definition of euphoric and then you can understand what I'm saying. Oh, he set me up. Yeah, I thought I was gonna just do the makeup thing, but um he he really okay, euphoric, euphoria. Okay, praise God, hallelujah. All right, so um, definition. Okay. Okay, euphoric means categorized by or feeling intense excitement and happiness. I'm going to say it again. It's, it's E-U-P-H-O-R-I-C. It's an adjective. It's categorized by or a feeling intense incitement. Have you ever had intense incitement? We all have, right? You know what I'm saying. Can you imagine over and over again? You get it, It's just like a drug. You get addicted to it. No one is wrong. No one. Honestly, y'all know how many people, gay people contact me and say, Apostle, I know you don't. And I'm not kidding. They really do. And they like me. And guess what? I love them back. But I tell them to hold on. <laughs> Y'all know what I represent. I want to stop. I don't know how to stop. I say, do you want to stop? You got to ask God. Nobody can do that but God. There are some spirits that can, can cannot come out, listen to me, but by fasting and praying. How bad you want it? You have to defeat it. The enemy is not playing. He wants you to be bounded. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Some of y'all, the reason why you wear that hair, you've been wearing it since you was young. And, and, and it's an illusion. It's an illusion. It's not real. Oh, fake, fake nails. I used to do it too. My hand, it, you know, I'm not trying to sound gross, but it started like having pus. I never put them on again. Everything that they make, oh God, I hear you. It's trying to take your raw priesthood from you. Take your chosen generations because they're the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. There it is right there. Yeah, I said it. All right, so y'all know what that means. So hold on, I got a couple more things to read for y'all. God, God is just being real. Okay, so Gentiles, they were crafted in. So what happened is that they really are not the chosen people, but they were crafted in. So now there's an attack on the chosen people. Now y'all understand where I'm coming from? Why y'all think all this happening? Don't get mad. It's not about race. It's about religion. It's about, it's about Thank you, Lord. The Cain and Abel spirit. Cain, Abel, I don't like you being close to God. So I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me. Stuff real. But you can't get mad at a race. You got to get mad at that spirit. Y'all got the wrong fight. That's why we're not winning. You got to fight in the spirit, said the Lord. Woo! Hallelujah. Let me, let me, I think that's all he wanted me to read, y'all. Hold on. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. So, again, who taught you not to love you, black woman? Love you. Love the best version of you. Nappy hair, straight, wavy. Love you. Makeup, no makeup. Love you. Dark, light. Love you. Ghetto, high clad. Love you. Stop making people turn you against you, said the Lord. Love you. But most of y'all are trying to be like somebody else for love most of the time. So they'll like you. 
and they still don't like you. <laughs> Why y'all think the stars be bleaching their skin? They, and I got to go here again. I already gave, gave a disclaimer, so don't come at me with that foolishness because I'm a snap in a, in a spiritual way. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Anytime somebody trying to make you be like them, that's inferiority. Mm, I just said something. I just said something. Hallelujah. This stuff real. Why would you trade in who God made you to be for anything anyway? Hallelujah. Ooh, so God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. You know what I want y'all to write in the comments? I love me. And I'm a black woman. Or if you're a black man. Don't y'all understand what they came and did? God is against each other. Y'all will sell each other out for a dollar. As a matter of fact, I got to go here. Lord have mercy. You got me going. Here. You got me going. Y'all will trust a white person more than your black people. I'm just being real. This is how we're supposed to trust people by the spirit of discernment. I don't care what color you is. I'm rolling with you if I can trust your spirit. Come on, somebody. It's almost like back in the plantation days. The house in IGGA against the field in IGGA. They playing the same game, just different time zone. And y'all falling for it. Hallelujah. So, God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. Oh, yes, Andrea. It does. I'm sorry, y'all was getting off, but Andrea say something that was powerful. It does change you. When I used to wear that hair, I'm not lying. I think I told y'all that yesterday. I would put on that hair, and you know how I, I'm just... I'm just kind of, I'm country, okay, I get it. But when I put on that hair, you know you know what my nickname was? And I'm not lying, that's what they used to call me in Sacramento, California, Hollywood. So you already knew right then and there. And I used to like it. I just thought it was, because, you know, I had all my diamonds and, I, you know, it was all about, all about money. And who had the most? Isn't that the same thing? Most of y'all doing the same thing. Y'all do, y'all asleep with somebody for that money. Don't play with me. Y'all alive for that money. Y'all are cheap for that money. Just so everybody could think that you're the man or the woman. But yet God watching everything. And then when God allows something to happen on the backside, oh God, oh God, now you want to pray. <laughs> All right, let me get up off of here. Let me get up off of here. Hallelujah. I love being black. And y'all don't know. Oh God, he got me going. I'm trying to stop. He won't stop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whew. He want me to tell you about when I was young. When I was young. I used to hang with just white girls. They could tell you, Abbeville, Louisiana, just white girls. Until one day, <laughs> we was in the sun, okay? And I had on baby all put it all like on like them child. Oh, yeah. Laying in the sun. I was actually lighter, believe it or not. Honey, when I started getting dark, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because I don't know if I thought I was white or what. I had to come to reality check. I said, wait a minute, I can't be laying in the sun with y'all. <laughs> And for so many years, even in college, oh, I got to walk this thing out. It's under the myth where we have to start talking like them. We have to start operating like them. We have to start, yeah, y'all get the drift in order to be with them. I found out that was a lie. And I be seeing y'all that be doing it. I don't say nothing. Y'all just be looking at it like, well, when they find out, when the scales come off of their eyes. And again, that's not an attack on white people. Y'all been brainwashed. It's a spirit. It's mind-binding spirits. It's been since the days of roots. It's been since the days of slavery. And to be honest with you, y'all thinking slavery over with? We are more in bondage today than we've ever been. Anytime a hair, a hair product, a hair, all fake hair, a $50 billion industry, well, you, you'll go get your hair done and not buy that baby some pampers. You'll go get your nails done and not pay your phone bill. You don't notice them people don't wear nails? You don't notice that? They do y'all, but they don't wear them. <laughs> I had to notice that too. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm just trying to wake you up. I'm not trying to bash you. Wake up. I know y'all don't like it. It's tight, but it's right. 
especially y'all got the young girls now. They be having all of it. And I need to just to be. And I'm like, Lord, sister, that's not even your hair. What are you doing? Let me stop. I'm done. I'm done. I gotta get off of here. I'm already spiritually tired. I'm serious. I'm so I'm so drained because when the spirit is real, you get drained. So God bless y'all. God keep y'all. I love y'all. But I just gotta tell y'all the truth. We tripping. I used to when Marvin Gaye and all of them, James Green, James Brown. No, Al Green. I'm sorry. I didn't say the wrong names. They were singing because they were trying to encourage y'all. And I'm just trying to encourage you through this video. Ask God to help you to be who He made you to be. That's all. Everything's a process, but don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give in. You got to fight. Nobody said it was going to be easy. You got to fight. Hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Rule our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.